I am Dr. Srivatsan Ramani. I am a consultant, urologist, uro-oncologist and robotic surgeon at Apollo Proton Cancer Center, Chennai. Today, we will be discussing in brief about testicular cancer in male. Testicular cancer is the cancer that arises in the testis which is present in the males. Now these are the sex glands that are located in the scrotal sac in the male. Testicular cancers are broadly divided into two types. One is what is called as a seminomatous type of testicular cancer and the second is what is called as a non-seminomatous type of germ cell testicular cancer. Testicular cancer is not that common, but it is not uncommon as well. The incidence of testicular cancer is about uh, 8,000 to 12,000 cases which is being recorded per year. Testicular cancer can be completely asymptomatic and that is the reason why we see a lot of advanced testicular cancer patients as well. However, if there is a lump in the testis, that is the most easiest way to diagnose the testicular cancer as well. We do not know what exactly causes testicular cancer, but we do know that it is mostly inherited or genetic which is the re main reason for testicular cancer. For example, if you have a family history of testicular cancer with either your father or uncle or sibling suffering from testicular cancer, there is a 3 to 4 fold increase in your chance of developing testicular cancer as well. The most important risk factor for developing testicular cancer is obviously as I said family history. In addition to that, if you have a condition of what is called as an undescended testis, where the testis usually descends from the upper part of your tummy into your scrotal sac, if there is a problem or you have a childhood history of bringing down the testis and fixing it to the scrotum, then there is a threefold increase in you developing testicular cancer. As I said, testicular cancer could be the diagnosis should be so easy at the same time so difficult as well. Why? Because if you have a testicular lump, that is the easiest way to diagnose testicular cancer. Patient walks in saying that I, I have an abnormal weird lump in my scrotum and that is how you usually diagnose the testicular cancer. However, many a times you may not have a proper lump or swelling in the testis or you may think it is just a normal enlargement and so forth and you develop advanced disease and you then diagnose the testicular cancer. For all clinical purposes, testicular cancer can be divided into early stage and advanced stage testicular cancer. Now, whatever be the uh, you know uh, stage of the disease, testicular cancer have a great cure rate. So we need to you know uh, completely cure you of the testicular cancer. If the te testicular cancer is uh, present only within the testis, then obviously it is uh, early stage cancer. Sometimes the testicular cancer can spread to the nodes in your tummy. That would be the second stage cancer. The cancer can spread to the nodes in your chest that that would be the third stage cancer. If it spreads to other organs like liver, lung or bones, then that would be the stage 4 cancer. Whatever may be the stage of the cancer, it is all curable is what you need to understand. As I mentioned earlier, the first step in any treatment of testicular cancer is the removal of that testicular tumor through a loin incision. Once we remove the uh, testicular uh, tumor through the loin incision, we subject it to the process of histopathology where we see what is the type of cell which is leading to the cancer. According to the type of cell, also according to your tumor markers, we repeat the tumor marker after 3 weeks post surgery to see whether the tumor markers have come down to 0. If they have come down to 0 or if they have not come down to 0, that would depend what further treatment would you require. The treatment will also depend on the stage that you are suffering from. For example, if you have nodes inside your tummy or your chest, you may require chemotherapy as an adjuvant treatment. Now chemotherapy is a very, very important part of treating any form of testicular cancer. These cancer uh, are very, very chemosensitive and we have an adage that it melts with chemotherapy. 
So basically chemo is almost 90% of all testicular cancer patients will have to undergo chemotherapy. Very rarely if it is just stage 1 and there is no spread outside the testes, we may do a little bit of surveillance by avoiding chemotherapy. There is no prevention of testicular cancer, it is not something that you acquire, it is something genetic. So, it is very difficult to uh, do something to prevent testicular cancer. However, early diagnosis is the key here. Basically, because the testis is outside and you can easily palpate the testis, the earlier you, you know, uh, understand that something is wrong with the testis and approach a doctor, it is easily curable as well. You guys must have all heard about uh, breast self examination because this cancer breast is so rampant and this has been promoted every day in and out in any form of media and social media as well. Very similarly, testicular self examination is also very important and it is a very simple way of looking at you know uh, early diagnosis of testicular cancer. It is usually done whilst you are having a bath or just after your bath. The basic thing you need to do is you have to fix the testes with both your thumb and your fingers of both the hands and then feel gently along the surface of the testes to make sure that you do not find any hardness, any abnormal lumps, any uh, difference in the texture of the testes and so forth. Testicular cancer is one of the most uh, curable cancer that is there currently second only to leukemia. It is almost having 95 to 100 percent cure rates which cannot be uh, said of other cancers. So, whatever be the stage, even if you have a stage 4, the overall if you count all the stages, still you have a 95 percent cure rate. You all must have heard of uh, Lance Armstrong who is the famous uh, you know uh, uh, cyclist who won 4 Tour de France after suffering from stage 3 testicular cancer. Just imagine that. So, testicular cancer at whatever be the stage is one of the most curable uh, cancer that we have currently in our uh, you know in our uh, history of cancer. Uh, well, uh, testicular cancer is when I said 100 percent cure rate, how can it be fatal? However, if left untreated, it could turn fatal because the it is aggressive and because it is aggressive, it will spread to other organs including lung. If it spreads to lung and other organs, then th there is a chance that it could land up in fatal if untreated. So, that was in brief about testicular cancer, how it early diagnosis helps in you know almost complete cure rate. Hope it was all useful to all the viewers and listeners who had uh, seen this. Uh, the most important uh, uh, message that I would like to give in this video is that do perform testicular self examination as much as possible, as many times as possible just in order to protect you. The commonest age group that testicular cancer occurs is about 15 to 35 years. So, this is the age group which is most affected. So, please be aware. So, if you have suffering from any symptoms regarding testicular cancer as I have enumerated including lumps in your testis, please do approach the nearby GP or a urologist to in order to understand what you are going through. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed.